Hi, I'm Rob Huff, World Touring Car Driver for Chevrolet. Today we have some customer care tips for you to help you achieve better fuel consumption for your Chevrolet car. Your car, your wallet and the environment will really appreciate your efforts. This means no higher than necessary for safe and proper operation of your Chevrolet. Maybe you'll be surprised, although I'm a racing driver, sometimes I have to save fuel at the track too. So we're going to start with a very simple activity. Before use, remove everything you can from your car that you don't really need to take with you on the day. Snow chains, rollerblades, books, toys, shoes, sports equipment, bottles, anything you really don't need. Don't forget to check the luggage compartment. Don't forget every little bit of weight you can remove will help you to save fuel. The same is valid for my racing car. The same is obviously true for the outside of your car. Do you really need the roof rack today? If not, remove it whenever possible. It really damages the aerodynamics of the car. Keep your car clean. Be sure that all the air vents are clean and free. This will let your engine breathe properly. Also, wash the dark side of your car underneath it, especially around the wheels, under the arches. You can always remove anything up to a kilo of mud. The engine is the soul of your Chevrolet, which directly consumes the fuel. That's the reason it must be kept in the best condition. Regularly perform every prescribed check. Use the recommended oil, coolant, check the levels. Make sure the car breathes free, easy. Keep all air inlets clean and free. And finally, clean the air filters regularly. Tires also directly influence the fuel consumption of your car. Check the pressure often. Generally, the higher pressure, the lower the rolling resistance and consumption. But always respect the manufacturer's recommendations. Too much pressure could save some fuel, but it also may overload the suspension and cause premature wear of tires as well as worsen the stability and comfort of your ride. And never forget to change the winter and summer tires on time. Winter tires in the summer also increase fuel consumption. Finally, always use the proper size of tires. Wide tires may give you the look and feel of sportiness, stability, but they also increase the fuel consumption because of a higher rolling resistance and worse aerodynamics. Now a few words about driving style. Please consider that all my following recommendations are only valid if they do not compromise yours or anyone else's safety on the road. Let's talk about braking first. Each use of the brake means a loss of energy of the fuel burned in the moving car. Always be a tentative driver and avoid unnecessary braking as much as possible. When driving downhill, use the engine to keep or reduce the speed of the car instead of the braking or shifting into neutral. At this moment, the consumption is zero. If you use the neutral gear, there is still some consumption to keep the engine idling. Acceleration is another very important part of fuel consumption. If you don't need to accelerate fast, then don't push the pedal fully. In most cases, it is enough to only push it gently. On a flat road, you can change gear at around 2,000 RPM. You can see how the automatic gearboxes work. Try to fill your engine. There are differences according to displacement and fuel types, diesels or petrols of the engine. Do not forget cruising. When available in your car, use the cruise control whenever it's possible. The control unit chooses always the best compromise between speed, gear, throttle. It's nearly impossible for the driver to do it better. Have a good look at the onboard telemetry to help you. Air conditioning and ventilation use fuel too. Open windows or sunroofs will affect the aerodynamics of your car as you drive faster. Find the right compromise between AC and open windows. Use the air conditioning only if it's really necessary. Turn the AC on at idle and you will see that the revs drop. AC needs power from the engine and that's going to burn unnecessary fuel. Finally, do not overfill the fuel tank. Stop at the first or the second click of the fuel pistol. The average fuel consumption advertised is calculated in line with EU regulations in a laboratory environment. Unfortunately, everyday driving is not done in a laboratory and is never the same every day. Traffic, weather, road conditions, being in a rush, irregular maintenance, etc. When the car is not moving and the engine is running, the consumption is infinitely high. Consider the time you spend at lights, traffic jams, waiting for passengers to get in and out of your car. 
try to make these times as short as possible. It is worth turning off the engine whenever it is reasonable. Also, do not warm the engine by revving. Remember, the consumption during this period is infinitely high. Drive it as soon as possible after the engine starts and keep the RPMs low while the engine is cold. Be honest. Do you always drive, depending on local laws, 90 kilometers per hour on country roads or 130 kilometers per hour on the motorway? If you drive higher than that, then your fuel consumption will increase. How often do you have two, three, or four passengers in your car with lots of luggage, sometimes with bikes or skis on the roof? Add in the air conditioning or open windows, maybe a sunroof in the summer. Well, you can see how this increases the vehicle load and fuel consumption. The same is valid when you drive during winter, in the snow, in the rain, or against the wind. Take all of this into account before you think that the fuel consumption of your car is too high. So hopefully we were able to share with you many normal everyday events that can negatively impact your Chevrolet's fuel consumption. Our recommendations will help you. As I said at the beginning, the environment, your wallet and your Chevrolet will be very grateful. Thanks for watching. We at Chevrolet really want you to enjoy driving your Chevrolet car. And remember, we have experts at all of our authorized Chevrolet distributors and repairs. We are fully dedicated to help you. Feel free to ask us any questions you have and come and see us regularly to keep your car in the best possible condition. We hope you have many years of happy motoring with us.